Can you come in the house, okay? You're Jenna? Yeah. You look different than the pictures. People Dude, he's dressed like a Stephen King villain, I swear to God. Look at him. He has a jacket that goes down to his knees and a, and a cowboy hat. I say that. I don't know why. Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> I like your hat. Thank you. I'm sorry. No. There's another one reaching out trying to grab him and do something. I'm sorry. We have all day. Sorry, I'm really nervous. How you doing? I'm okay. <sighs> oh. I um, forget how cold it gets every winter and then it hits. And... I'm moving south. Where to? I want to go towards like Texas, the desert. Really? I've never been. Me neither. Undertaker got fat. Good lord. Um, I'm gonna grab something. All right, sorry about that hey, jump Jack, cut. How you doing? How you doing? Why don't you come over here and see the store for you? Yeah, I kind of feel it. I don't know what you're doing. Right over here with that. Yeah. What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I knew what was going to happen. You knew what was going to happen. Somebody was going to show up here. Somebody, Somebody was going to show up here. It's all right. You know what? I have nothing to live for anyway. Well, what do you mean, yeah? <laughs> It's a mess. Why is it a mess? I failed high school. I, I have no motivation to finish it. None of the pills about work. What do you do for a living? I don't have a job. But why does that make it okay? I wasn't going to do anything. But you showed up. But you showed up. I bet Chris is going to say that. But that's not what she you said. She said, I know. I want to be a cop. I wasn't going to do anything. I just I want, to, want to be a cop. I want to have a friend. Well, then why don't you go join the police academy or... I'm fat. I can't do anything. Oh, God. He sounds like Boogie. Oh, no. He's fat. He can't do anything. Dude, do you know how many cops I've seen that are way fatter than you? I'm just saying. There are a lot of cops out there that are much older and much fatter than you that are, that are still cops. I mean, being fat is not an excuse for that. What grade are you in? Seven. Let's cool, see. could I see a pic of you? You like older guys. You said all this, right? Yeah. I meant a naughty pic. You send a picture yeah, of yourself. I know, don't remind He sent a picture of himself. You know what that means. Now, I doubt this guy has much of himself to show beyond the gunt, but uh becomes the violent one 500 pounds and five foot one I'd be... i'm not that big but i could fit inside you <laughs> okay. have you ever played with yourself I'm, I'm not trying to make light of this stuff i'm really not trying to say it's funny that you know this stuff happens but just sometimes you get a little tickled like it's like i'm not very big but i can fit <laughs> okay <laughs> get a three incher i mean you see how this looks how did you get to this place <laughs> Wait, which place this is just this me Everybody's got personal problems, right? But that doesn't mean it's okay to do this. I guess he's thinking he could do sort of like people do when the cops pull him over if they cry and, you know, sob and talk about, you know, give him a sob story, the cop will let him go. I think that's what he thinks is going to happen with Chris. You get that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Never feel bad for these people. No matter how bad their sob story is, remember at the end of the day, they were coming there to assault a child. I'm, I'm just letting you know that up front. <laughs> How far did you drive today? An hour, hour no, and a half. Hour and a half. And how many other times have you done this? Never. Well, that's hard for me to believe, Vincent. She, she said she wanted a friend. I, I'm stupid. It's, it's but there's no pretty, friends 19, 20? I have one friend. He's always working. Nobody else. Stop. Look at where I, where I dress and stuff. Nobody, everybody thinks I'm weird. I mean, that's for good reason. I mean, you, drew, you LARP is the undertaker. I mean. Well, the only weird thing I see is that you were trying to hook up with a 12 year old girl. Uh, look at the way I, way I dress and stuff. Nobody, everybody thinks I'm weird. Well, the only weird thing I see is that you were trying to hook up with a 12 year old girl named Jenna Claire. 12, 12. Remember that, 12. Not 13, not 14, not 18, 12. Not even a teen yet. I mean, 
saying, have you tried to get some help? I'm not saying the team would be any better, but it, it just kind of makes you see how much worse it is. It's even worse because I think that if you do this sort of thing with someone under 13, it's even worse. I forgot what the charge is, but I'm pretty sure that like the charge levels up, that it's even more jail time if you do somebody under 13. No, I never told anybody anything. How often do you go on the internet? To do that, but to do this stuff. Not with girls, not with little girls. Well, what made you do it this time? I mean, just help me to understand what's going on in your mind. I don't know, that's the problem. Well, you gotta know, Vincent. You're an adult now. You get this as a felony, right? What are you gonna do about this situation? I mean, you gotta pull it together. Where'd you go to school? Catchman. Where? Catchman and Wappingers. Catchman and Wappingers Falls. Yeah. Did you finish? I failed English, uh, participation in government economics. I'm supposed to be doing them online. I never, I don't have any motivation to do anything. Well, what happened to your motivation? Just he doesn't have no motivation to finish his high school diploma, but he had enough motivation to drive an hour and a half to see a little girl. Let that sink in. This depression is so crippling. Oh, Lord. Did Cry me a river. I those, but I'm fat, so it, it never, the 30 didn't bother me. <laughs> okay. Did you try to diet? Did we try to diet? I love you, Chris. You're such... You were, you were just so... <laughs> he is just so cold and just... Did you try diet, Fanny? <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't be sending pictures of your genitals to a 12 year old girl, right? Yeah, at that point, I don't have any sympathy for you at all. I don't care what your condition is. You know, it sort of reminds me of like the Sopranos clip. I know this is kind of off kilter, but remember that time in Sopranos, if you watched it, where Vito tried to come back from uh, being in hiding because he was gay and he tried to tell Tony that like, you know, he was on some type of medicine that turned him gay or something saying like, you know, the doctor had me on it for my blood pressure. He goes, that made you suck a cock. <laughs> That's what I feel about this guy. It's like, there's no medication. There's no mental illness except for, you know, the mental attraction to children, which is absolutely a mental illness. Oh God. That old JR. <laughs> He looks like JR now. What at the oh god, I'm so sorry, Jim. I'm really sorry. Even the Jim Ross is kind of a pervert too, but not for underage girls. But he kind of went from the Undertaker to Jim Ross now that you look at him. Good old JR. I love JR. All right, get some help, all right? Which way? Okay. Lots of re wrestling references in this. The three garage. Straight to yeah. Stop right there, sir, please. Turn around. Get me on your back. What are you just shooting me? You got anything on you? Just the knife. Where's that? In the kitchen. Anything in your pockets? Anything sticking? Alright, alright. Now we're going to check out the aftermath and see what happened to him. Give me one second to pull up that webpage. Uh, aftermath. Immediately following the interview, Chris uh, Hansen half-heartedly claimed... That he took no glee in the encounter. Ambrosia, I'm guessing it has Ambrosio, whatever, uh, was arrested while begging the officers to shoot him and interviewed by local law enforcement. He was charged with and convicted with attempt to entice a minor through a computer, attempted sexual, uh, second degree SA of a minor, and uh, possession of child, you know what. So he even had CP on him. Woo, that's not good. So he ended up serving 30 months of a 10-year suspended prison sentence. 30 months, that's a little bit over two years. So, yeah, two years, six months. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Join the Discord. Join my Patreon where you can see more risky content that cannot be posted on YouTube. Not, not you know, the P-O-R-N, but... There are some videos that YouTube will not allow me to post because they are a bit, you know, more sensitive topic wise. You can check me out there. It's one dollar a month, one single dollar to uh, get access to that, along with some other perks if you go to higher tiers. 
And also just follow me on Twitter, Johnny Fox Rocks. See you next time. Also, Predator Playlist. Uh, this is video four, so I hope you come back and watch the other episodes and future episodes of this series. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.